country. It's it's benefited and and. Uh, all of the rails have done well recently, and, and, and in fact, the Union Pacific, which is our direct competitor, has been has done very well. Uh, uh, so it, it's it's a business that uh, has real economic advantages. If you if you look at fuel costs, if you look at, at drivers' wages in, on the highway, it, as long as more goods move from place to place in this country. Rails are going to get their share, and and uh, it should be good. It should be very profitable business. What about the Keystone pipeline? The, that ra that question was raised several times yeah. by shareholders well, I think and by others who say, "Wait a second, do you really want the Keystone pipeline to come because it's a direct a direct competitor to what would happen with Burlington Northern?" It's not that big a competitor. It's moving. It, it would be moving a crew down from Canada, and that. Uh, no, I, I I think probably the the Keystone pipeline is a good idea for the country. Do you expect that the president might actually pass it sometime soon? I have no soon? idea. I, I, I had seen a study recently that came out from the State Department that suggested that if the Keystone Pipeline would put in, it would end up saving lives versus moving that oil via the railroads. They yeah, said something like six but, lives a year. Yeah, what they came well, up both with. sides are going to come up with that sort of thing. They're, but that was from the State Department. It wasn't from yeah. the Keystone Pipeline. Oh, yeah, pipeline well, and, side. and they may well be right. I, but there are, there are leaks on pipelines and. and you know, occasional explosion like that. Uh, no, that's very, 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 very rare. Uh, but if you measure moving millions of barrels for 100 years, uh, uh, it is the, particularly the oil from the Bakken and from the Eagle Ford as well, uh, has turned out to be more volatile than, than people anticipated, and that's going to require. Uh, for one thing, we've lowered the speeds, you know, uh, in, in many years. But it's going to it's, it's going to require a new kind of tank car too. Yeah, Burlington just said that it was buying five thousand new tank cars yeah, that are higher than standards. <laughs> they're not on the shelf; they're no, yeah. no to order. So it takes it takes time. We're with a different company, Marmon. We're in the tank car manufacturing business, and and there will be changes made, and there should be changes made. And and it's fair to say that we have found in the last year or so that it's more dangerous. To move certain types of crude, certainly than than was thought previously, and and you know that's there's no question about it. We'll you know, do something a, about it. a lot of the rail tank car companies rose on the announcement that Burlington Northern was going to be in the market for buying more mm -hmm. of these things. Would they be buying them from Mar from Marmon, or are they going to outsource they, this and buy they it buy from them wherever? from wherever they get it. The, the problem in buying them is that there's a big backlog at not only Marmon's tank car subsidiary, but Trinity and others that make make cars. So. Uh, it, our backlog runs into the middle of 2015. Those wow. aren't those aren't all for for crude oil tank cars. So most most tank cars don't carry crude oil. Right. When you see a, 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 a train with a lot of tank cars on it, most of that is not crude oil. But some of it is, and more of it has been in in recent years. So uh, it's, you can't you can't just flip a switch and get 5,000 cars. There will be retrofitting that takes place, I'm sure, uh, and and that's. My guess is some of that will get moved to the to the front of the line because it, it's it's more important to get it done immediately. But but the tank car problem is a problem and and uh, uh, it should be addressed. It's being addressed. Uh, but you can't change the whole tank car fleet overnight. <laughs>